Okay, everyone. So welcome to this uh, webinar. Uh, we will start shortly. Uh, we're just uh, waiting uh, if people connect uh, and we'll start very uh, briefly. Okay, everyone, so welcome to this webinar on uh, how is swapping to SolidWorks with Solid Experts so easy. So uh, let's begin. So my name is Stefan Loisel. I'm a solution specialist. Uh, I'm doing work, me uh, work methods here in, at the Solid Experience or Solid Experts. And uh, I have by my side Martin Monarch, which is our director of technical services. So uh, we're well equipped to answer your questions and talk about uh, the plan that we use uh, to uh, help our clients to uh, go from another CAD software to SOLIDWORKS. So without further ado, let's start and I'll pass the, I'll pass the microphone to my partner here, Martin, who's going to explain to you uh, the vision of uh, Solid Experience. So Martin? Yeah, good. good. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. My name is Martin, like uh, Stefan just said. And I just want to explain you um, why you should uh, take us as a professional to do the swap from any CAD software to SOLIDWORKS. But first of all, I just want to explain who we are. Um, you know us usually by a solid expert, but since uh, a year now, we, are, we have merged together with the mechanical solution that we now solid experience. And with the solid experience, um, we uh, are now, it's a combination of the Solid Expert and Mechanics Cloud Solution, who, was a, a, who is a Cadia reseller. And uh, with those two companies, we have more than 60 years of experience. Uh, we, can, we also have office in Montreal, Quebec, Toronto, and many places in the United States. And also our team, we all, all more than 250 technical certifications. So you all set with, uh, with us, no matter what, if you're using uh, SolidWorks or the 3D experience. Um, Today, uh, for the agenda, uh, first of all, I will explain you uh, why we sh you should improve using SOLIDWORKS. Also, possible concern after that, um, Stefan will suggest you a roadmap that you usually suggest to our customer. Uh, some kind of pitfall to avoid, and uh, finally, why Solid Expert? Um, why you should use SOLIDWORKS instead of another CAD software? Well, I can explain to you this, you know, for an hour or, or two, so uh, I'll take four, no, I'm kidding. Uh, you know, I can tell you it's your user-friendly uh, software. It's a, it's having a very short learning curve. Um, there's a common platform. No, it, 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 they, they have a massive library of CAN model. It's the world's largest user-based com community. But, you know, I don't want to convince you to switch for, to SOLIDWORKS. I want, I want you to convince to switch with, uh, with SOLIDWORKS, but with the help of Solid Expert. And why having a solid expert as a, a partner? Well, it's because, you know, we know the possible concern for any kind of user or any kind of um, uh, person that you have in your or own org organization. First of all, um, what kind of people? You can be a manager, you can be a cat admin, or you can be only a user of the software. And those people have different concern. And what kind of concern or worries? Well, it's a, uh, Productivity level for the manager, the budget. For the CAD admin, it will be, it will be his loss of knowledge. Uh, it will be uh, stressed with the implementation of a new procedure for the new software. Uh, the user will be scared, you know, it will be resistant to change, and they will need to train to have some uh, training to follow. So all those concerns are going to be explained, and they are in our mind when we, we are going to explain you our roadmap, okay? That said, that's the next step, and I'll give back the, the microphone. microphone to Stefan and to, to show you this suggested roadmap. Thank you, Martin. So uh, it was uh, 
<clears throat> this was interesting. Like uh, we know we you have uh, concerns. Um, uh, we know that uh, it can be scary, but uh, as uh, we will show that with a correct roadmap, uh, it's going to be an easy transition. Uh, so we have eight major steps that we'll look um, uh, to implement a, a new uh, SolidWorks ecosystem, and we'll go through uh, those slides right away. Um, okay, so... Okay, so the first one is obviously evaluation of needs, okay? Every company is different, every business is different, every product is different. So I usually say that SolidWorks is a big white page, okay? We can do everything, but the, the main difference is uh, if you do jewelry and if you do tractors, it's not going to be the same approach. So uh, we really want to analyze uh, analyze the work methods that are already in place, and we don't want to change them as much as we can. Okay, so uh, good uh, evaluation of needs, evaluation of uh, the, the the actual work methods is pretty important, actually, to make sure that we're not uh, making you uh, a 90 degree uh, shift uh, regarding your methods. Uh, regarding solutions here, we um, obviously look at the implicated persons. Uh, we identify the SolidWorks products that you would like to use, which is tailored to uh, what kind of product uh, you're doing. Uh, we like to identify each department because you always... Uh, um, Engineering right now is always related to production, always re, uh, related to uh, the buying department, marketing, etc. So uh, we like to uh, to meet those people to make sure that they uh, they get the information that they need uh, regarding this uh, implementation. Uh, we're going to talk about the standardization of documentation, so to make sure that. Uh, we understand what is the output, what is what is the, the type of drawing you're releasing to uh, your production department to make sure that we can match the same thing uh, inside of a, a, a workflow of uh, SolidWorks. Uh, best practice document. Uh, another strategy is um, a gradual transition of product line is... Uh, it's mostly like uh, if you didn't touch this assembly uh, for the last five years, don't concentrate on it. Just uh, go for your maybe two years. Uh, uh, what have you been modifying and using in the last two years? We're going to target, help you target those uh, uh, those product lines to bring them inside of uh, SolidWorks. Uh, we'll also do a training identification. I'll go back to training a bit later. Uh, we offer a variety of uh, training, so uh, we'll target uh, target that for you as well. And obviously, uh, timeline objectives. Okay, so uh, we do establish uh, a timeline to make sure that uh, we are able to achieve your objective when it comes to uh, swapping your uh, your CAD system to SolidWorks. The next step is uh, this one, uh, IT department. So the next step would be after analyze, analyzing everything, uh, we'll uh, talk about uh, IT requirements. Uh, of course, if you already have a CAD system, you're pretty sure you have a good machine. So uh, the, the machine is going to be compatible with SolidWorks, but still we will uh, we will address some questions uh, regarding uh, do you need to be a Windows administrator of your uh, machine? Uh, what type of processor would be best for the type of product you're doing, RAM, graphic cards, hard drive, network, and uh, antivirus also. Uh, antivirus is not the type of antivirus that you're using. It's mostly uh, when you communicate with a server, uh, just to make sure you have those uh, CAD extension inside of your exceptions of uh, antivirus. If not, uh, you're just scanning uh, a CAD file all the time. So. A bit pointless. Uh, so that was item number two. We are going then to training. So uh, obviously we offer a lot of training, okay? Uh, but we do offer something that's a bit different. Uh, I don't know if you see this one on the screen right now. It's called SolidWorks Refresher. Um, 
we know that uh, if you're starting inside of SolidWorks, you're maybe not starting in a CAD system altogether. Okay, so you know what's a sketch and you know what's a plane uh, that I'm pretty sure uh, that uh, you are aware. So we're not going to give you a SolidWorks essential class. Okay, uh, the refresher one would be for somebody that already aware of a CAD system, already have experience in a CAD system. Uh, we want to make sure that the transition goes uh, a bit faster okay regarding adopting uh, solidworks so uh, we do have some very tailored uh, training regarding this uh, and obviously like i said a bit earlier every company is different uh, i would say 80 percent of our uh, client base is mostly using uh, weldments and sheet metal okay uh, but there's other uh, type but uh, i would say that the most uh, those are the most popular uh, so obviously we would train uh, we would train on this uh, to make sure that uh, you're up and running as fast as you can. So item number three was training. Uh, next is the most important part I think okay is automation. Uh, when it comes to automation, that's the beauty of going inside of the uh, SolidWorks ecosystem. Uh, we do have. Uh, Parametric strategies, uh, we have design checker, drawing automation, but we do offer here at Solid Experts uh, a suite of tools, which is called UT, uh, UT Expert. Uh, this is designed to be automation for you guys. Okay, so uh, there is a lot of stuff that uh, if you do a hundred click and uh, you want to do it in uh, maybe 10, uh, we'll find a way. We'll give you the correct tool and there's so many things you can automate inside of uh, of solidworks and especially when you're using the tools that we developed here um, you're gonna get a lot faster uh, doing some repetitive stuff that you can automate i usually say as a joke i'm a very very lazy person uh, if i uh, if i do 20 clicks and i can do it in 10 believe me i'll i'll find a way and i'll uh, i know i have the tool uh, to help you achieve this <clears throat> So after automation is is your uh, does your company wants to go on a SolidWorks PDM? What is a PDM? It's a product data management. Okay, so uh, of course we'll see in the next point is um, if you want to do just a simple network, uh, just a shared drive inside of your company. Of course you can do this, uh, but SolidWorks PDM is uh, is a beautiful tool that can automate even a lot more we can connect this to your ERP uh, it protects the file it gives uh, what we call a check-in check-out is um, it's basically like to protect your files okay to make sure that someone is authorized to change this file and uh, you can be multiple user on the same assembly working at the same time uh, something you cannot do inside of a network uh, the list is so long that uh, we'll just go inside here and see okay uh, when we do implementations of uh, PDM, obviously, uh, we look at um, server requirements. We, uh, we check the folder structure to make sure that if you have one, is it good? Let's take this one if it's good. If it's okay, we'll uh, maybe have some little advice here and there to uh, help you have a good uh, folder project, folder product, uh, parts and assemblies, etc. Uh, we do want to understand if you're on the uh, intelligent part number or non-intelligent part numbering scheme. Uh, identification of links between system is uh, what I said earlier, is if you want to connect to your ERP or any other system, we can actually achieve this in PDM. Uh, list goes on, revision scheme, uh, workflow. So we help you uh, really, really achieve uh, a good working environment very quickly inside of SOLIDWORKS PDM if you ever choose to go on this software, which is part of the ecosystem of SOLIDWORKS. But like I said, if you want to uh, only use a, a network folder structure, okay, just a simple shared drive inside of your network, uh, we'll just give you the uh, server requirements, which is a bit lower than PDM, but uh, still uh, we do have some, some small requirements regarding this. 
and we help you achieve a folder structure, the same as PDM. If you already have one and you say it's good, perfect, we'll use this one. If you want to achieve a new one or have advice on a better one, uh, we'll help you achieve this. And uh, collaboration environment, uh, just make sure that we, uh, we ensure that all the tools are shared uh, throughout the multiple users. So uh, every tool is at the disposition of every uh, drafter uh, inside of your team. So that was item number six. Uh, we then go to uh, SolidWorks, okay? Uh, where we establish the correct uh, parameterization of SOLIDWORKS. So we do look at your SOLIDWORKS system settings. I said earlier that uh, we don't have the same answer for different companies depending on the product that you uh, that you create. And I think that's normal. Like I said earlier, if you're doing jewelry, you're not going to have the same settings inside of SOLIDWORKS as uh, if you're doing uh, vans, tractors, whatever. Uh, so uh, we target those. Um, Tables, obviously, bomb table, uh, just to make sure that you achieve the, the correct bomb format, bill of material format that you desire and uh, that you already use mainly. Uh, we want to match this as close as possible. Uh, we are going to help you set up your templates, your original uh, drawing templates, part templates, assembly templates, uh, to make sure that uh, you're uh, starting uh, correctly inside of the system. Uh, the rest is pretty straightforward. There's so many modules inside of SOLIDWORKS that uh, we, uh, we're not gonna talk about all of them today, but uh, just assure yourself that uh, we will uh, implement the correct one and, and uh, advise you on the correct one to use uh, for your company. Uh, Toolbox is a good example. Uh, Toolbox is a product configurator when it comes to, um, uh, okay, I'm um, for all your nuts and bolts, and uh, it, it's a product configurator, uh, an easy one actually, which has a, a very, very big amount of uh, already uh, already done CAD uh, CAD uh, parts. Okay. Um, next is ecosystem. Obviously, what's the benefit of going on SOLIDWORKS is mostly the ecosystem, okay? Uh, when we talk about an ecosystem, it's uh, there are so many softwares that can actually uh, retrieve the CAD from SOLIDWORKS and... Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, so there are so many, uh, so many uh, modules that can uh, retrieve the, the CAD the file that's been done inside of SOLIDWORKS. Uh, you can do uh, training manuals, you can do visualize, visualizes for those uh, those pretty uh, uh, marketing images from your product. Uh, you can go in a very high level, uh, visual high level when it comes to visualize. Uh, there's so many uh, MBD cam if you are using CNC machine, uh, machining and uh, simulation, obviously it's, uh, it's a pretty popular topic. Uh, so the, the ecosystem is very big and that's why it's on uh, item number eight is let's start by the, by the foundation. Let's start by uh, implementing SOLIDWORKS and making sure that everything is up and running and we will introduce afterwards uh, some part of the ecosystem of uh, SOLIDWORKS. <clears throat> What's the point of using solid experts uh, when it comes to an implementation like this is obviously we don't want you to have a bad start, okay? If you look at the trees over here, uh, let's just, uh, for the fun of it, let's just think that solid expert uh, came afterwards and uh, re, uh, reorient the, the trees over here, but uh, uh, this is for me a bad start. This is something that we don't just want to give you the keys of, uh, of SOLIDWORKS and say, uh, let's see you later. Uh, we want to make sure that we do accompany you uh, inside of this process uh, to make sure that uh, you have something that looks like this, okay? A beautiful tree that's all straight uh, and making sure that you grow faster than uh, than what you see in the, the image before. So this is for me a good start, okay? Um, complex change. This is interesting and this is something that we always have in mind when we do implementation and uh, let's just quickly look at this image for a second. 
Uh, the first portion that we showed you is an action plan, okay? Without an action, an action plan, you can have a good vision, resources, incentive, and skills, but you will have a, foul, a false start, okay? Uh, if you don't have skills, okay, because you have no training, you're going to have frustration. If you don't have any incentive there, we can't not do uh, anything for your company, but uh, inside of your company, if you do this kind of change, you should at least have some sort of incentive for your employees to make sure uh, the, adop the adoption is good. If not, as you can see here in this image, you will have resistance and this is normal. Uh, resources, okay, without resources. Who's the resources? We are the resources. We do have uh, a technical support team, uh, like Martin said a bit earlier, uh, over 250 certifications. We have a big team, uh, always working hard on technical support. You can call us every day uh, and we'll always have an answer uh, to help you guys achieve uh, uh, what you want to achieve. So without any resources like us, uh, obviously it's going to create anxiety, okay? Uh, and no vision, you have confusion. Okay, so uh, once again, uh, correct, clear company vision is your, is your, um, uh, it's your doing. Okay, we cannot help you achieve this vision. You do need a vision if you want to change software. So uh, having a good vision. So all put, all this put together, a good vision, resources, incentives, skills, and action plan is going to create change. Okay, uh, but. Just bear in mind that we do, uh, we are, we are aware of this. We want to uh, make sure that uh, nothing is missing from this, uh, from this image uh, that you see right now, uh, to make sure that uh, there's no, uh, there's no confusion, no anxiety, no resistance, no frustration, and no false start. The next one that needs to be very, very clear, okay, is uh, it's called a change bubble, okay. Uh, obviously, you're going to go faster after a while. You're going to go faster. SolidWorks ecosystem is very fast. The automation that we can achieve is very fast. Uh, I, I personally can say that uh, we saw companies that their production went uh, a lot faster. Uh, but you do go through a change bubble, and this is normal. Okay. Uh, so whatever you were doing inside of your old system in 10 minutes, of course, it's, it, it might take like 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do it in the new system. But our job here at Solid Expert is to make sure that this change bubble takes as less time as possible, okay? Uh, if you don't have this kind of uh, coaching or resources like Solid Experts, uh, obviously this change bubble is gonna just take longer, okay? Uh, so to go from an, from an actual production time to a reduced production time, you're going through this change bubble. We are here to make sure that this bubble doesn't uh, take too long and uh, has no real impact on your projects and your day-to-day -day, uh, dealings. And next one is this. I like this image, uh, beautiful chess game. Uh, don't overthink, okay? Uh, if you look at this chessboard and you try to think every possible move before even moving one uh one of those uh, those chessboard uh <clears throat> you're you're just not going to do anything okay so overthinking is uh it's pretty common actually people uh think that uh, they're going to think everything before starting anything <laughs> so uh just make sure that uh you do need to see how the system is going to react to your uh, specific production or production method so it's normal that uh you're going to play you're going to play a move you're going to see how the system reacts and will adjust with it okay uh because like i said if you try to overthink and see all the possible avenues or all the possible moves beforehand you will just stay stuck at point zero and you will never advance or never change so uh overthinking is not saying it's bad but uh, i saw a lot of companies that uh, are still struggling to do a change because everybody's always thinking like uh, this might happen and this might happen so very very uh counterproductive over here overthinking okay questions and feedback so I hope you uh, enjoyed the the, um, the webinar so far, and uh, we'll just give a bit of time if uh, you have any questions. And uh, 
Yes, um, coming over here. Yeah, the very good point. Uh, we do have a company that we just uh, actually was going from another software to SolidWorks. Uh, they're very happy, uh, Humano, uh, Humano Medical. Uh, they're doing some um, uh, some medical medical stuff. So we did implement SolidWorks. We did implement PDM because uh, everything is really regulated when it comes to uh, medical materials. So uh, the uh, the uh, the transition was very fast. Actually, uh, it was um, we did a lot of training. Uh, we helped them uh, implement uh, PDM, and uh, they're very happy uh, with this uh, so far. And uh, we're always one phone call away, anyways. Okay, so any problem that they can uh, en encounter inside of uh, SolidWorks, uh, we've been able to help them uh, very uh, quickly. Is there any other questions from the crowd? No, no more questions, Stefan. So thank you very much for your time. So uh, if you need us or you want to discuss with us regarding um, the way we see it and the roadmap, we can suggest if you want to switch from an, any kind of CAD software to SolidWorks, uh, don't be shy to give us a call. Uh, Stefan can visit you. He can, can do a conference call with you if you, if you want. So we were there to help you. We're, we're, we're there to set up a plan if you need to. And uh, I think you have, uh, you, in, with our experience and um, the way we're, we're dealing with those kind of uh, issue, well, we can reduce all your, uh, your concern and make sure you have, uh, you can sw switch very fast with uh, to solve. So thank you, Stefan. Thank you, uh, Martin. And, see you next and time, uh, guys. thank you, everyone.